Thank you. Thank you. Hello, everyone. And uh, despite the rare appearance of a tie, it's quite obvious I'm not one of the suits from upstairs. <laughs> but it's good to be back in Detroit, and particularly after what has been a most turbulent year for the auto industry. And I don't need to remind anyone in this room of what that's meant to a lot of good people in this business and this business around the world. But I think of all the places, Detroit's been one of the most hardest hit. This year has been transformational, it's been painful, it's been difficult. So it's really nice for me to be here in Detroit today with a little piece of good news. And that good news is I'm here to announce live to the world via streaming video, Motor Trends 2010 Car of the Year. Now, before I pull the covers off those cars behind me, let me just give you a bit of insight into how the Car of the Year program works. This year, 23 new or significantly upgraded vehicles were eligible for the award. And we started an exhaustive week-long process at the Hyundai Kia Proving Ground in Mojave, California. We began with the full battery of Motor Trend performance tests, which include the usual 0 to 60, standing quarter mile, braking, and Motor Trend's figure eight test. And what this did was give the judges some baseline data to work with. Because each judge drove each contender around a 13 and a half mile loop within the Proving Ground. And this included a high speed uh, loop, it included a handling loop, and different road surfaces. Now the point of this first phase was not to decide the car of the year. This was about deciding which cars would not go through to the next phase. And the next phase was based out of nearby Tehachapi, where we had a 28 mile road loop. And again, each judge drove each contender over that 28 mile loop which included stop-start city driving, two-lane blacktop, a great fun little canyon road, and of course, some freeway. And the focus here was on the detail stuff because we were using the vehicles in real-world conditions the way real-world consumers would use them. Now, we had plenty of discussions throughout the uh, week, but at the end of the week-long process, the judges sat down to debate, discuss, and vote on the 2010 Car of the Year. And I'm very pleased to announce that Motor Trend's 2010 Car of the Year is the Ford Fusion. Actually, we're the ones who should be applauding you because I've been around this business to know um, long enough to know that cars just don't happen. They're a result of an incredibly complex process that involves a lot of people. So in a very real sense, every one of you here in this room has a little piece of this trophy because it's the Ford Motor Company that created this vehicle. The judges were deeply impressed with the Fusion Ranger's bandwidth. Everything from the entry-level four-cylinder car with the six-speed manual transmission. What a fun car to drive. Then, of course, there was the high-tech, highly fuel-efficient hybrid. And, of course, the, the more traditional sporty model with the, the V6 engine and all-wheel drive. But another thing impressed the judges tremendously, and that was how much attention to detail, how much refinement improvement, quality improvement, every single part of the fusion had been looked at, thought over, renewed, reimagined, reinvented. And it felt like a completely different car on the road. So it was a credit to the team to deliver a car in one of the hottest selling segments in North America that is absolutely competitive with the benchmarks. And with that, I'd like to welcome Derek Kuzak 
up onto the stage. Derek, there you are. Come and accept the award on your behalf. Thank you. Thanks, Angus, and thanks to the entire uh, editorial staff at Motor Trend. What I'd like to do now, as Angus indicated, is really recognize the team and have some of the team members join us for the award ceremony. So let's start. I'd like Nancy Joya, our Director of Electrification. Uh, JD, all right. <laughs> JD Shanahan, who is Chief Program Engineer. <laughs> Mike Dugan from Vehicle Engineering. Next, there's Mickey Mann from Vehicle Operations Manufacturing. And uh, Mickey's representing all of our team members at Hermosillo Assembly Plant. Next is uh, Mike Williams from Body Engineering. Next is Daryl Beamer from Design. And then we have three members from the hybrid team. Sharif Markaby. <laughs> Gil Portolatin. <laughs> and Praveen Cherian. <laughs> from marketing and sales, Chantel Leonard. Mike Tripp from Finance. And last but not least, Craig Nelson from Purchasing. And uh, Craig is also representing all of our supplier partners who are so critical to the success of our vehicles. So Angus, that's the team and we're ready to proceed with the award. Well, it gives me great pleasure to present the 2010 Motor Trend Car of the Year Award to uh, you, Derek, on behalf of the Ford Motor Company. Uh, these products just don't happen anywhere. There's a dedicated team behind, some of them here. Congratulations. This is your award. This is your award too, Derek. Great. Pass it down to the seat. Put it back. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. All right, just a, a, f a few brief remarks on my part. Again, I'd like to uh, thank Angus and Motor Trend for this exceptional reward. For us, it's especially gratifying because we've been working so hard and so diligently to improve our car lineup. And it's really significant to us with this award for two reasons. First of all, the Motor Trend Award is one of the most recognized by our customers in the industry. And secondly, as Angus indicated, it's one of the most comprehensive and rigorous tests that uh, any of the awards go through. And so it's really a recognition of all of your hard work. Now, since Fusion came to market in 2006, it was our start to really getting back forward into the car market. And we've been making traction, traction that's based around industry-recognized customer-leading satisfaction external third-party recognitions of our quality improvement, innovative technologies like SYNC, blind spot information systems, and voice-controlled navigation systems. But I think most important for this team was fuel economy, 
leadership with both the gas and the hybrid versions. And our customers are starting to recognize our steps forward. This year, sales for Fusion, end of October, 151,000 units, exceeds any prior full year sales of the car. And of course, it couldn't have been done without this team. So what I'd like to do is have all of the other members of the Ford Fusion team stand. I know there's a whole bunch of you. So thanks to all of you for your energy, your passion, and your relentless dedication to delivering this award-winning vehicle. Right now, I'd like to turn, bring Mark Fields up just so he can congratulate the team. Mark? All right, congratulations. It's like a reception line. <laughs> <laughs> Great job. You know, first off, Angus, thank you so much for, uh, for the award for the team. You know, if pictures are worth a thousand words, just seeing the smiles on Derek's face and the team and everybody in the audience, this is, this is absolutely precious. And uh, it's, uh, all I simply want to say is thank you. This is, this is truly kind of one forward in action as we all collaborate and work together to bring uh, world-class products to our customers. And just as it brings smiles to, to all of our faces, most importantly, it's about bringing smiles to our customers' faces. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks, Mark. Thank you. Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. well, I'd like to thank you all for coming along to a, a truly historic event. This is the first time in history that the Motor Trend Car of the, award, the Year Award has ever been announced live. So, a small piece of history here this afternoon, and we're very glad we could share it too. Make sure you log on to motortrend.com, of course, to see the full story <laughs> by the magazine. Meanwhile, our congratulations to you. A job well done. Thank you. You should have seen this smile. come up so you can get your photographs taken up here also. So thank you.